I'm Ross, you're watching The Gastronomer, and today we're going to use an advanced technique called fat washing to make a brown butter bourbon sour. For this drink you'll need bourbon and unsalted butter to make the brown butter bourbon, and simple syrup and fresh lemon juice to build the drink. First, the fat washing. We're going to measure out 750 milliliters of bourbon. Of course, you don't need that much bourbon to make the drink. That would be one strong drink. But if we're going through the fat washing process, we might as well make a whole batch of this stuff. That'll make about 10 drinks when we're all finished. All right, so set that bourbon aside. Now, the fun part. We're gonna make brown butter. So place two sticks of butter in a saucepan and melt it over medium heat. Once the butter's melted, continue to cook it. You may need to adjust the heat here and there. And as you cook it, the water and the butter will boil off and you'll be left with butter fat and what's called milk solids. Those milk solids are what will start to brown and turn into the unmistakably nutty flavor that we all love in a brown butter. Take it off the heat once it's about the color of maple syrup. Next step, you guessed it, pour the butter into the bourbon. Let the butter cool down a bit so we don't boil the alcohol. But I find that mixing it while it's still slightly warm will actually help the bourbon absorb the brown butter flavor. Pop it in the freezer for eight hours or preferably overnight. The butter fat will solidify and rise to the top and the infused alcohol, which has a lower freezing point, will remain a liquid and can easily be poured off. Fat washing is an old perfumer's technique of infusing something oily, such as bacon grease, or in this case, brown butter into alcohol. Whew, that was a lot of work, but well worth it. So let's drink to celebrate. This drink is really just a take on a whiskey sour. We're gonna use two ounces of our bourbon, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, and three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, which is the juice of about half a lemon. We'll combine that with ice in our shaker tin and shake for 15 seconds while I awkwardly stare into the camera. The origins of using this technique in cocktails are a bit unclear. Several widely known New York City mixologists, such as Don Lee of Please Don't Tell, seem to have brought it to their menus back in the early 2000s. I was taught this technique by Richie Farina of Chicago's Modo, who had a chorizo-infused margarita on his menu back in 2007. All right, enough already with the history lesson. Let's drink. 